Brooklyn Independent Television. One type of retailer that's really been hurt by the growth of national chains is the independent bookseller. So why would a couple of college sweethearts buck the trend and open a new bookstore? Sector B's Melissa Rose Cooper went to Prospect Lefferts to get their story. Daddy's basement, Shara speaking. Shara Josephat isn't your average Brooklynite working a regular nine to five. You may have your name and number. She's following her destiny. It was a vision from God. Daddy's Basement is Josephat's gift to the Brooklyn community. Just five months old, the mom and pop bookstore is home to bookworms in Crown Heights. There's a huge need. Um, there's a huge need. The community is thirsty for um, a business like this. There's nothing like this in the vicinity. A bookstore anchors the neighborhood, it's something the neighborhood can be proud of, and it creates relationships that would never have been created before. Its name has a special significance to Josephat. When she was a child, her father turned the basement of their house into a neighborhood hangout. It had like a kitchen, it had, um, had a bar area and like a seating area, and that's where we would go, we would hang with him, and it was like a gathering place for the community. Ever since his passing from a heart condition in 2001, Josephat has longed to recreate that cherished atmosphere in combination with her love of books. Her husband Luke, they met four years ago at Medgar Evers College, was the one who gave her the extra nudge she needed. I would talk about the, the bookstore 24 seven as if it already existed. <laughs> and I would draw pictures all the time. And I think one day he woke up and he said to me, you know what babe, it's, it's, he would say it to me all the time. He was like, it's a really good idea. Just go for it. Just do it. And so I just did it. The college sweethearts opened Daddy's basement last August. <laughs> Even in the midst of a struggling economy where mainstream outlets were forced to shut down locations, their decision to start up Daddy's basement was never in question. You have to follow your dream. The, the idea of the economy closing businesses has been around for years and years and years. But if you open a business and you put your passion into it, then you're gonna have a fulfilled life. The financing for the business came from their 401ks. But there is no regret. For Josephat, success isn't determined by the dollars made, but rather the gratification felt. Business has been, it's been extremely fulfilling. We've made our rent, we've made our bills, you know, and we had a little bit left over. She says the one thing Daddy's Basement has that its corporates and online competitors don't is a personal touch. We have all the fixings of a professional bookstore. We can order your books for you. Everything is efficient, you know. We can have it delivered for you if you want us to. Um, but. You know, you're not going to go to some of these larger chains and expect the person to remember that you came in or remember your order or suggest something that you might like because of the type of book you usually buy. Um, it's not going to happen. Out to the corporate world for 10 years, Josephat runs Daddy's Basement with the assistance of two interns and one staff person while her husband holds down a steady job to make sure ends meet. Bryding Newell heads the West Indian American Day Carnival Association, two doors down from Daddy's basement. She loves the bookstore. It brings the actual live books, no digital, no computer, no sit down and read touch field book. Newell's been in the community for about seven years and says Daddy's basement definitely adds to the business vitality in Crown Heights. Taxes get back. It acts as a draw to the quality of life for every community. So what else could be important than to have a bookstore, you know? I mean, as much as I love my hair, you love your hair and everybody else, we've got tons of places to get our hair done. But how many places do we have to walk into the store and, and read a book? Daddy's Basement's inventory ranges from children's classics to do-it-yourself books. There are also a number of works by emerging authors, some who live right in the area. Josephat also hosts weekend book readings in the store. And our book club members are serious. Mm -hmm. Like they bring wine, they bring crab legs. 
Josephat is content with the progress of Daddy's basement, but it's not yet complete. It will undergo a few more renovations over the course of the year to increase its appeal to customers. This area has a hidden staircase underneath that leads to the basement. It will be turned into a lounge area, all a part of Josephette's goal of staying true to her father's memory. I want to make the basement a reality. I was a daddy's girl. I think my dad would be proud. For now, Josephat takes pleasure in being an entrepreneur and gives thanks to her father for helping her dream come true. For Sector B, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.